welcome back to my channel. I've had some requests to go back to Dreamlight Valley, so we're going to pick up where we left off, and I believe that was in the castle. We had, uh, oh, rain. Anyone who plays Dreamlight Valley knows rain is always very welcome, uh, particularly for the crops, for the gardeners among us. So we had uh, opened up the castle, we'd removed the night thorns, and we had also removed the night thorns from one door, and that was Remy's. So I'm hoping in today's episode we can um, do everything that Remy needs us to do to get him over to our valley. I love the little cutscenes in this. So I've said this before as we've been playing through, but this was the first one I did when I first played as well. And I really was confused about what I was supposed to be doing. Um, and I kind of abandoned the game for a couple of months before I returned. The dining room is filling up and most of my staff is out sick. Plus there's a food critic visiting tonight and I've got to make a good impression. If he gives our food a bad review, it'll be a disaster. Right, where are... Oh, there are the dishes. Why aren't you doing anything? Right, I'm going to go to the quests and put this up there because it that will help me kind of keep on track. Ah, use your watering can to wash the dirty dishes. That's... I can do... Doesn't seem entirely hygienic. Okay, there are going to be two more dirty dishes somewhere. In here, that's one. Return to Remy and tell him the dishes are clean. Find a fish in Remy's kitchen and prepare any meal using it. Here is like the, here are all the ingredients that you can take. I'm gonna take a fish. I don't know if I've already got other things in here actually. Um, but I will take a zucchini and a tomato. You can't take anything out of here. I need to get rid of one of those things. I think I took two fish, but that's not made a difference. Oh, I'll open these up. Like I told you in the previous episode, they just kind of go into your wardrobe inventory. So that's a good, that's a good way of opening up your inventory is to open these bags immediately. Uh, oh, I've got a fruit salad recipe. That's another thing. As soon as you've opened it or used it, it disappears from your inventory. Okay. I'm just gonna get one more ingredient. I'm gonna get a tomato. And let's see what we can make with these things. I'm gonna use a fish. I'm gonna use a tomato. I'm gonna use a zucchini or a courgette, depending on where you are in the world. Perfect. Right, now we need to go and get some fruit and make him a fruity recipe. We'll get an apple. What other? Oh, we've got banana. I feel like I could make something with milk. I could just maybe just do the fruits to be safe. Fruit salad. That'll do it. Ticks the boxes. I am ready to make something a little more complicated. Has he given me a recipe for a hearty salad or am I just guessing what a hearty salad is? Hearty salad. You'll need lettuce and two vegetables. Yes. He did tell me. I know. I wasn't paying attention. And I have a feeling that's me out of space yes let me just drop something so as i was saying earlier you cannot take anything from remy's restaurant but you can make things and eat them and you'll still get the buff so i will show you what i mean i'm gonna actually do two tomatoes purely because I don't have space to have two separate vegetables in my inventory and it doesn't care whether it's two different ones or not here you go. Here's the first meal. So I need to make three courses. Ooh, I'm gonna make pizza margarita. I feel like I can remember how to make this one. So I'm gonna do, well, first of all, I'm gonna drop some stuff because I certainly cannot with these things. Oh, okay. I mean, you can eat those things to get rid of them if you, if that's what you wanna do. Uh, I'm definitely gonna want basil. So I've already got the basil that I need. I'm going to need tomato, cheese. I'm going to need wheat. Oh, now, would you want basil or oregano? I feel like that's a, that would divide people, but definitely I'm more 
of a basil than an oregano girl. So let's see if I've remembered correctly. We've got wheat, we've got tomato, we've got cheese. Oh, it's not giving me the basil. Is that because it's just in my regular inventory? There we go. Huzzah. Also, if you're ever stuck with these things, you can totally Google it. People have um, dedicated entire websites to uh, walkthroughs and stuff of these games. Whoa. So if you're ever wondering, how do you do this thing? It's easy. Oh, I need to find a book of recipes around here somewhere. Usually, ah, here we go. I was gonna say, usually when you're looking for something, it is twinkling. Found the book of recipes, given the recipes in the margarita pizza that we made. Ooh, I wanna make a banana pie. I actually, I'm not a banana fan at all. Um, I enjoy making like banana bread and like banoffee pie, things like that, but I don't actually like <laughs> eating those things. I might be crazy, um, but I like making that kind of stuff. Uh, so I'm choosing banana pie. Whereas if I was gonna eat it myself, that would be apple. Okay, so I'm thinking we need wheat and butter because that would be like flour and butter for the pastry. We've got the banana. Banana, what is that from? I feel like there's an episode of Frasier where they say, banana. Or is it Will and Grace? Could be Will and Grace. There's one particular character that's in both. Do we think we need vanilla? I feel like we at least need sugar, but where is sugar cane? Oh, it's here with the vanilla and stuff. Can I buy stuff from this section? I might just see what it lets me make with this. A banana pie! Okay, okay. Sometimes I overthink these things. Sometimes I'm definitely trying to make something and then <laughs> I'll like put loads of different ingredients in. Like in real life, if I was making this, what would I need? And then it ends up being the most simple combination of ingredients ever. Ooh, someone wants a ranch salad. Ranch salad made from lettuce, tomatoes, corn, bell peppers, and onions. Lettuce, tomatoes, corn, bell peppers, onion. If this is not a ranch salad, Remy's a liar. Fun fact, fun fact about me. My, what well, one of my childhood dogs was called Remy. And um, this was way before Ratatouille because I'm old, um, <laughs> and my mom hates rats, so she was not super keen on that film. Our dog was named after Remy Martin, which I believe is a brandy liqueur. Um, oh, place it on the serving hatch. Where? Oh, it's there. I really wish that you could kind of go into the restaurant, although you will see kind of the restaurant later um you this this part of it i wish you could kind of walk through that door oh we're making ratatouille vegetables spices and memories so this is a great example i remember making this um and honestly it took me ages to figure it out because i don't like to cheat i don't like to look at these walkthroughs you know you do you sometimes you get to a point where you feel like you're never gonna get past something and you have to look up how to do it and nine times out of ten it is so simple i was playing a game called thimbleweed park that i absolutely loved but the amount of times i had to have a hint that made me so cross because a hundred percent i knew how to do it i was just doing it in slightly the wrong way and if ever i've had to look up uh, a hint or a cheat of any kind on this it's always been simpler than i'm making it right let's see if this works Zucchini, eggplant, tomato, and oregano. No, grilled veggie platter. What is it? I wonder if I have to fill it with veggies and then a spice. Still grilled vegetables. He definitely hasn't given me a recipe. Right, I'm just going to eat these things. This is what I was saying before. You can eat the meals. Uh, and they will make a difference to your energy bar. So you just saw there, when I eat these meals, it will, I'm getting like extra energy and it'll fill it up even more. You'll still benefit from that when you go back to the valley, but you can't take anything that you have made here. So you can still, you can still kind of work around it. Right, Remy, give me another hint. Ratatouille is made of three other specific vegetables and a spice. 
I feel like I'm doing it right and he's screwing me over. I wonder if I'm picking the wrong spice. Hmm. So, tomatoes. That is a 100%. It's got to be zucchini. I still feel solid about eggplant. So, zucchini, eggplant, mm, maybe it's peppers, not onions. Grilled veggie platter. Tomato, eggplant, zucchini, onion, basil. Yeah, okay. We did it. Right, so do we put this on the hatch? Do we put it in the hatch? I think we do, I think we do. What a relief, five stars. I am a very talented chef, I know. I actually have a restaurant for you in my village. Yes, I do, Remy. If you would love to come back and live there, that would be fantastic. Ooh, can't sleep in the kitchen, wouldn't be hygienic. I definitely need a house before I can go. This is another example of me not following instructions and just like quickly tapping past things because I 100% never saw this. I had to Google how to do this. So we're back in the valley and I'm gonna place Remy's house. Um, I don't know whether or not I actually need to move things. We'll see that in a second. But as I told you last time, you can go into here and then furniture is how you do pretty much everything. There are two different games, two different quests that we're working on right now. One is Remy's and this is Remy's house. So this is literally where you go to get everything. And specifically, when you have to play something for a quest, that's where it's going to be. And I'm not kidding. I looked for ages and I had to Google it. Because I clearly had never read that original notification. Right, I'm going to... Where am I going to place it? It feels weird because in my other valley, like, I've already placed all this stuff. So I kind of want to put it where, in my mind, it belongs. But we haven't opened those... We haven't opened up those areas yet. So we can't... Uh, right, for now, I'm just going to put it where it will fit because I really need to go around and clear some space on the island. So we'll put him there. It's not ideal. It's not permanent home. Um, oh, let's go and see what's going on with Mickey Mouse. So I finished the quest with Mickey by going to see Remy. Right, we'll come back to you later, Mickey. Also, whenever you see these blue chests open them i can't open it because i haven't connected it to the internet uh because this is my secondary account so i can't connect it to the internet because i haven't got an account i'm gonna sort that out i am i said that last time and honestly i forgot it existed also can you hear that noise that noise is um it's like stuck i'm actually surprised oh that reminds me i'm gonna just oh it saved 20 seconds ago um on the switch this crashes all the time no pick up the night thorns what are you doing pick them up i didn't want you to water them um occasionally these things happen and it's just like glitching if you will that noise should not be happening right now there was one time i played it for ages and i had no idea that it was not supposed to be there uh right so now we've placed his house and we need to pay scrooge it's only a small amount for the first one but it gets more expensive um with subsequent villages that we welcome to the valley his house is so beautiful his house and his restaurant both gorgeous and now remy is going to appear through the magic of the well directly outside the castle in this little plaza area. Here he is. And in the valley, look how tiny he is. Look how teeny tiny Remy is. Super cute. Let's take a picture with him. Remy is going to remember that he lived here before. I'm actually going to leave and come back just to kind of reset that chest that's having a wobble. And then we're going to work on the next quest for Remy. Right, now that noise has stopped. We're not doing your quest right now, Mickey. We want Remy's. And as I showed you in the previous episode, I thought it was Remy. It was a squirrel. Uh, you can actually find him by looking on the map. Uh, there he is. He's right by his restaurant, which makes sense because that is where he wants us 
to be. So we want to renovate the restaurant. Um, Remy's just magic it up so we can actually get inside and see what we're working with. I am obsessed with this picture. It's Disney, clearly, but it's got a Hogwarts vibe. I just love all of the art in the game. It's fantastic. Right. Ooh, what's this in the corner? It's a memory. I just had the most amazing meal. Remy's really outdone himself with the menu. He's talking about expanding the dishes based on all of the parts of the valley. Ooh, old rulers, lost diaries, uh, giving us some hints and tips. Right, I'm just going to highlight Remy's quest so we know what the next thing to do is. Also, one of the more recent updates of the game, uh, which will be irrelevant to you if you're only playing now for the first time, is that all the windows work now, which is great. When you first went inside one of the buildings, it was just kind of like frosted and you didn't really see anything. But now when you're inside, uh, not only do the windows work, so you can actually see, it's still kind of like semi-frosted, a little bit kind of Gaussian, um, but you can see kind of light and some shapes outside. But it's also relevant to where you've placed it in the world. So it's not just random view from outside the windows that is standard to the building. Um, you can actually see what is outside based on where it's placed in the valley, which I think is like crazy attention to detail. Right, Scrooge, I'm going to need some tables and chairs for Remy. Perfect. And I have just enough money to do that. Also, I'm definitely coming back because you've got some really funky stuff today. Look at that aviator jacket. And this. I'm telling you. The stuff that is coming up in Scrooge's store is way more interesting than the stuff that comes up in the store on my original valley. It's not fair. I wonder if there's going to be a way that I can transfer things to my other account. I'm guessing no, because it's the same switch, but ugh. I am hopeful for um, there being some kind of exchange as and when they open up the game to multiplayer, which is in theory coming later this year they did say that's gone that's like on the roadmap for uh 2023 so fingers crossed that will mean that we can do some kind of um item exchanges because i've seen some stuff that like it, unless it turns up in the shop i'm never having it uh right bring remy the restaurant furniture kit where is he is he in the restaurant let's just look on the map again i think he is oh he's in his house that makes more sense that makes a lot more sense. God, I can't find anything. This is definitely the part of the game that I found really frustrating because everything's kind of a mess uh, and really disorganized. I couldn't find my way around anywhere, but it gets better, I promise. Right, we've got a list from Remy of what we need to um, forage and find around the village, the valley, whatever, uh, to get him so that he can build up his restaurant again we need oregano carrot raspberry and wheat you know i feel like we've got some of this stuff already any kind of herb that is stuff that you will find from just picking up plants as you go around raspberries are these plants right here and wheat and carrots are the only one that you actually need to plant and harvest uh, but they're both very quick turnarounds right i've got some over here i wonder how much of each i need because oh i didn't mean to do that because i might already have exactly what i need this i think is oregano this uh part of the game where you have to actually have things especially things that you have to plant because some stuff takes ages to actually grow this is why i hoard everything i'm gonna run around the valley and um get rid of all of the night thorns because oh what is this Ooh, i think i know what that is Do you know what that's really interesting because i think we're going to play through in a different order we're actually going to get characters in a different order because certain ones weren't available yet when i played the first time that's quite interesting um right so i'm gonna go and clear all these night thorns because a lot of them give me bags of seeds so because i don't have a lot of money right now i can't 
Okay, that's all I can do over there. Uh, I can't pay money to upgrade Goofy's store, which is where you would usually buy ingredients from, or you would buy um, seeds and stuff. Uh, because I don't have that cash right now. I mean, I could sell some things, but I'm, I'm just going to try and do without. Uh, I'm going to try and pick up seeds and things from different places and see if I can get around it that way. I can't do it, guys. We're going to have to upgrade Goofy's stall because we're not getting any wheat seeds. So for sure, this entire quest is to kind of push you to do this we need oh we only need 500 gold coins that's not so bad but i don't know whether or not we'll get all of the things that we need with the first upgrade right we've got wheat but we could really do with carrots as well is it going to be a thousand okay well in that case we need to sell some stuff first and i'm hoping that after this we'll still have enough money for the seeds that we need as well okay they're pretty they are pretty inexpensive so let's buy 20 of these. Ooh, they're a little bit more expensive. We'll buy 10 of the carrots. Also, for anybody wondering, um, if you do play both games, I did do the very smallest amount of time traveling on Animal Crossing because I started out on, or rather started over on Animal Crossing again recently. Uh, and I had a couple of people say, be careful because when you time travel, it can screw up Dreamlight Valley. I time traveled a couple of days in, couple of days in the past and uh, went back to my original day. So when I first loaded up Dreamlight Valley, I am playing um, like I'm on the correct day. It is synced up to the internet. It is the day that it really is in real life. Uh, and I haven't had any problems at all yet. So fingers crossed, that's all good. Also, just from what I was saying in the beginning, I used to get loads of crashes and loads of problems. And for some reason, I haven't had any while I have been playing this game with you guys. And usually, for sure, I would have had some by now. I think when I was first playing Dreamlight Valley, I probably was time traveling on Animal Crossing at the same time. And I wonder if I did screw up my game. Time will tell. Because, you know, I haven't really clocked enough hours of this account to really say but that will be interesting because for sure if I still play on my original account now it will crash and I haven't experienced that yet so I wonder if like once it's done it's done you can't unscrew up your game if you have been time traveling at some point while we wait for that oh there's nothing there uh we would have a chat with Mickey and see what his quest is all about there isn't much left of my garden it's a mess it's a mess mickey sure is minnie definitely wouldn't be happy if she saw it like this she loves to garden the sooner we make this recipe the sooner we can make dreamlight valley a place she'd be proud of again also when Mi when minnie mouse comes into it it is a pretty excellent way of introducing a new villager uh we need to prepare a fruit salad Fruit like apples, but you can find some around the village. You no, know, it would be great with a fruit salad. Crackers. I can do both these things, Mickey, because I remember how to do this. Minnie's crackers are super easy to bake. They only take wheat. Here's the recipe. I don't think we needed a recipe, truthfully. Um, we'll have to start gardening before we can start cooking. To get some wheat, we'll have to plant it. Oh my God. He's going to give me wheat seeds. Ah, uh, I can't even believe that. We should have done this in the other way around. Let's get ourselves over to Mickey's house because I think we've already got everything we need to make what he wants. Let's just see. If I just cook a raspberry, will that give me a fruit salad? It will. Perfect. There are some things that are, is just... Like, you could spend ages being like, ooh, what kinds of this? I've seen a picture of it. It's definitely got bananas in it. No. Just wants this. And I have a feeling I need two of them because I think it is for... Mickey and Minnie, in theory, even though Minnie is nowhere to be found at this point. Right, I have the meals. Let's just go into my quests. Uh, use the book in the, oh, I need to learn the crackers recipe. And he wants me to dig a hole and plant some wheat. How annoying. I literally just did that, Mickey. Literally just did that. I'm suddenly very conscious. When I play these games, I'm always irritated with the people that I'm playing with, like, ugh. Why are you making me do this thing? It's supposed to be a game. <laughs> it's, it's like, 
It's a vibe, but I'm not sure it's the vibe we're looking for. It's a pretty negative vibe. Uh, okay, let's just be really shiny and sparkly and happy all the time. That is not me, I'm afraid. Uh, right, let's do the planting. Look at me, I'm doing what you want me to do. I will water them. Not even a problem. And I'm so happy about it. Not complaining at all. You would never find me complaining about something. I mean, in real life, I am a relatively glass half full kind of person. I'm relatively, I'm, I mean, to a point kind of irritatingly positive where possible, but I'm just tired, guys. I'm just tired. <laughs> oh, I've done this in a weird order. Ugh. Right, fine. So he wants me to, I thought I was taking a shortcut. I am not. He's really insisting. Oh, and now it starts raining. Now it's raining when I've watered all my crops. So I have to go to my house and cook with Mickey, even though I've just cooked everything in his house. I don't have an oven. So this is part of the tutorial. Okay, okay. So where do we bake? Mickey, tell me this. Riddle me this. I don't have a stove. He's giving me a stove? He's giving me a stove. That's nice of him. I would not want to cook anything in this house. It is grim. Well, that serves me right. Did any of you, um, when you were at school, do the test where... I'll never, ever forget it because it is so perfect for me. Like, this is just me all over. Um, and the, the whole thing of the test was that you had to read the test through thoroughly first. Like, that's what they're like. Just make sure you read the test before you answer any questions. Read the test through. Um, and obviously nobody wants to do that. And someone like me, it's never going to read the test through. And there comes to a question, like towards the end, there could be, you've got like two minutes to fill out all these questions and it feels impossible. And the reason is question like 60 or something is don't answer any of these questions. So if you'd read through the actual test, it would have told you you didn't need to do any of those things. So you're trying to rush through and you're thinking you're saving yourself time by not reading the test all the way through. And in fact, it's teaching you a lesson that you are not saving yourself time at all. Right, at this point, have we already talked about this? We must have. Um, this is the point with all of your villages where you get to level two and you get to choose a role. So this, I'm gonna choose gardening. If he hangs out with me now, I'm sure we talked about this in the last episode, but if he hangs out with me now, he's going to give me some bonuses. So I've asked him to hang out. Let's go outside and see what I can gather. I need some more wheat and some more carrots, and I will get more of both if Mickey is with me, because he'll give me little bonus harvests like this. Some of the carrots are ready. Let's see if it's enough with the bonus from Mickey probably not no we still need a few more so a few more minutes for those and then we will have everything we need for remy while we're here i will just plant some more of these seeds that mickey gave me because it is raining the most annoying task in dreamlight valley is watering the plants more than anything else in my opinion because you can't it's not like an automated thing like right now i'm just pressing a and she will just Oh, she's actually run out of seeds. But if you have loads of seeds, then she will just kind of plant and plant and plant and it's automated. The watering, you can't really do in the same way. You have to be engaged in what you're doing. Um, so I tend to like to leave myself with some open plots like this uh, and have seeds on my person so that as and when it rains, I can quickly go and plant some stuff and things get automatically watered. Or I will just plant a load of stuff and just leave it and wait for it to rain when i get to a certain level of the game and i'm like planting absolutely tons of stuff it's just easier to do that and wait for it to rain um then and sometimes i will like randomly if i'm going to do that and i've planted loads and loads of stuff um i'll randomly just log into the game throughout the day in case it's raining because uh, it's just so time consuming we have our carrots. So again, if you press and hold A, you harvest multiples. It's not like an active thing. And I think I did tell you in the last one as well, 
that whenever you're doing anything, whether you're mining, foraging, really you should just have someone hanging out with you all the time because even if you're not bothered about the bonuses, you are building up your friendship level. So if I have someone who um, their little skill set is mining and I'm gardening, if I still have them with me while I'm planting things and watering things and all that stuff, then I'm still building up their friendship level and they'll give me better bonuses in the thing that they actually are skilled in. It's all good. They also do give you like little bonuses in other ways as well. But it's uh, it's definitely something to keep in mind if that's your goal. Right, let's see where Remy is right now. Is he back in his house? He is back in his house. Let's go and open up the restaurant. Perfect. Okay, that is going to be it for today. We opened up the restaurant. We completed Remy's welcome quest. We can now upgrade the restaurant. There's loads of things we can do. We can serve customers, but we'll get into that in a future episode. Uh, but we also picked up on our travels today this doorknob. And this doorknob will be the key to another villager. So I believe that's probably going to be what we do in the next one. So look out for that soon. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. And I will see you guys next time. Bye.